it's difficult. This conversation that you must have heard we were just having about the backlash, you know, the um, clickbaity stuff. I know we do like to talk about it, and, and there's a right amount to talk about it, isn't there? Or maybe not at all, because it just kind of adds to it. What, what Are you seeing any of this, and what's your view on that? I've, de I've definitely noticed that some of the more popular YouTubers, that the names that you'd recognise, are doing more negative videos, and there's more negative content out there. Um, right. But, I mean, from my perspective, if I'm just looking at my my little world that I exist in, um, that, that's not the feedback that I get from my clients. And um, yeah. I can honestly say I've never been busier. Um, the, the amount of people who are contacting me, particularly from the US, who are coming over here, it's not slowed down for me. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure for some people uh, things are changing, but I, I don't think that's the, the actual vibe. I, I think there is a narrative being filled and it, and it suits the clickbait. Um, so I'm not going to get involved with it. No chance. Good, good for you. Good for you. And uh, sorry, sorry to have involved you in that because, um, I, you know, I, I, like I said, there's a right amount of talking about it. And it's good to hear from you, uh, not a journalist who's writing about what they think is going on. Your yeah. actual lived experience of being an yeah. agent in Lisbon, you're seeing no slowdown. And this other stuff, you know, this is something I want to ask you about, Veronica. There was, a, I think, a CNN travel piece, um, just sounded a little bit AI, sounded a little bit lazy, talking about, um, I don't know if you saw that one. It still ranks Portugal really highly as a place to come to. And it did pros and cons. And it was saying, you know, there's a backlash against um, foreigners, particularly Americans. And I was thinking, you know, yeah. It's really, yeah, it's, it's true. It's, it's not it's, true. I, I don't, I didn't think it was true, and it's also very dangerous because, um, so I know, that especially I you'll have a view on this, Carl, of the nationalities. I, I think American people take very badly to that kind of headline. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, American people are very sensitive, if you like, aren't they, to these sorts of well, criticisms or concerns or, or outright um, attacks, you might say, uh, with that and nonsense. And it can really change things as a result, yeah. can't it? Go on, Carl. That's why. I mean, I always, always go out of my way with my clients to explain to them that that's not the case, for sure. Yeah, right. I, I yeah. actually spent yesterday in Lisbon um, with a couple who are looking to relocate from Washington, D.C. I actually found them a, a rental yesterday, um, so good news for them. They're very excited to be coming to Portugal. Um, yeah. I spent with them. We went to the marketing camp, Dorique. We were talking with the vendors there. The vendors were excited to speak to them. My clients were ex excited to speak to the vendors. It was all good vibes. So this, yes. uh, you know, Americans aren't wanted or foreign nationals aren't wanted. Total garbage. Total well garbage. said. All right, I'm gonna. I, that if you if you'll allow me, that's yeah. the sort. Of, and it's not clickbait. It's just like it's your personal yeah. testimony of what's going on. And more of that. I mean, I I would love to make um, a video to counteract. I mean, you know, it, it is a it is a sort of fool's errand in a way, isn't it, to just go after this stuff. Um, because you're free, no, Carl, to, because I think I think you do need to do things like that though in some way because uh, right. you, need, you need to fight a good fight kind of thing, you know, uh, yeah. and push back against what is I think definitely a degree of disinformation, you know. Yes, exactly, exactly, and it's just because they need something to write about, and we've written about how great it is for a, a little while now. What's the next thing we do? Oh yeah, we, we pile in, we pile in, and we we say the opposite of what we've been saying for the last two years. <laughs> And it's just a bit fishy, isn't it? But it's so kind of polar and contrived like that. And I could quite easily, I've got to say, I could quite easily um, get half a dozen um, Americans <coughs> who would jump on a call with me and talk about how friendly um, and, and and what fun they're having here in Portugal. And to, you know, to like, we could sprinkle, we're going to have a, an effect of sprinkling salt on this nonsense. Take that stuff with a pinch of salt. And, I, and it only upsets me because I know, um, mm -hmm. If you're watching from afar and you're 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 an American thinking about Portugal, you might be hurt and yeah. put off by such a simple and stupid thing that you see on 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 social media like that, or not even just social media. Actually, in a news source that you may have trusted in the past, um, yeah. or that you see that other people trust. So there's the deal, right? Right there, um, journalists shouldn't be writing about something if they're not here. And there yeah. are people that write about all these other um, areas that they don't actually live in. Mm -hmm. And then when you do look at, you know, your culture in Great Britain, you have a lot of those tabloids. We have mm -hmm. one or two and we make fun of the people that read them. Like the National Enquirer, we're like, really? Yeah, there's 
there's, you know, the space aliens came down and stole your mother and, you know, brought back 10 space children. Okay, yeah, we believe that. Um, and so when it becomes mainstream, that the mainstream people that they knew and trusted did that to them, it's more of a hit. And the issue with that is if you're just skimming, like let's say you do a little search and now the YouTube videos come up first in Google and it's just, they're gonna log the, the highest hitting ones first and the highest hitting ones are the negative ones. So if you're like, should I retire in Portugal? And it's like, Americans hate Portugal. You know, Portuguese hate Americans. They, and it's all these, you're gonna choose not even to investigate it. You're gonna say, oh, well, let's look at Costa Rica or Belize or Ecuador or yeah. um, maybe go over to Croatia or some of the places that seem friendlier. Yeah. And I just, I think when you're talking about someone's life, it's not a game. It's not how many clicks you can get. This is somebody who's trying to change their entire life, retire early, and it just, it really should be honest, but I'm gonna shut up about that now because no, I you. was a journalist. No, I was I on the... <laughs> Yeah, and, we, and what we know about, the, and me too. You know, I've written, I've written, ghost written um, press releases, all sorts of stuff like that. And we know how this works, and uh, we're doing our best to counteract that because this is, of course, you know, a subject is, that is dear to us. We live here; we've got skin in the game. But we know, don't we, that those journalists who are writing that stuff now, often with the help of AI, because you know, we know that journalists, as as, as somebody for, who's written press releases in the past, you can tell how how lazy journalists and some editors are because. You see your entire press release <laughs> cut and pasted. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, uh, Even your typos. You're like, oops, right. I had yeah. a typo. And they it's everywhere. You're like, oh my gosh, my article got, you know, from you send it out on press wire. It hit a hundred different places and all of them have the same typo. Yes, yeah, yeah. And what we know now with AI and and how and this laziness of journalists is that where it what they're gonna do is they're gonna file that piece. And they're yep. going to pull it out and pull it out in two years time. And they're going to put yep. uh, Belize or Ecuador or Panama <laughs> yeah. or Mexico exactly where it says Portugal now. It's just going to be, yeah. they're, they're going to open up Microsoft Word, aren't they? Control F, where it says Portugal, uh, Control V, Mexico. And it will just shift, won't it, and move on. It'll just be a nice. Oh, no, 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 no. You haven't been playing with these little bots, have you? Claude, too, will write an entire article for bots. you. Oh my gosh, I'll teach you how to play with your bot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too much time in Thailand. He doesn't need any lessons. Come back. Hey, right. these are bot too. These are bot. It bots bots. everywhere. <laughs> it would appear. There's bot and bot and bot. Oh, yeah, okay. But well, no, well, seriously, you yeah. say I was showing a friend, I'm like, write me in. I was in A Monte. Write me an article about A Monte. In about okay. five seconds, it wrote, wrote up all the history. And then I said, check it for plagiarism. It said no plagiarism. It did all of it. It sounded all like formal. So I said, do it in my voice, which is from California and kind of fun. And it livened it up. I'm like, if you're a lazy journalist, cut, paste, yeah. go into Canva, get some stock hits and put it in and overnight. Or you can have somebody on Fiverr just say, hey, drag and drop some stuff on Canva. Make me a video done. Yeah, I think people are getting wise to it though as well. I mean, I know myself when I'm sort of scrolling through YouTube, looking at just some of the subjects that interest me, and it's become very apparent to me the past few months. I'm watching things and thinking, this, there's nothing there. This is just very, there's no energy behind it, and it sort of dawned on me, you know, maybe a bit late to the game. Like, this is AI. This has all just been auto generated. This video that I'm watching, the uh, the commentary, everything. There's no soul behind it. So I think yep. as well, people will get wise to that very quickly and know that this isn't real content, um, you know. So and you see that in the comments a lot on these videos, thanks AI or you know, you know that kind of comment. People know you you can tell there's nothing behind it. It's not a human who's written it or who's reading it. It's all just computer generated. We're humans. We're humans. We're all humans. You can already make your own bot to do it yourself. People are already we making might, their own we bots. Might have con convinced yep. a load, load more people to become journalists if it's that easy to make money. But anyway, um, that flu was awful, Carl. Hope you and the family are well. Oh. And Lee is on the mend too. Bon dia todos from uh, American in Porto this morning. Good morning to you, Jim. Lovely to see you. And Sarah Yeoman, of course, uh, with us this morning. And uh, thanks, Carl. Love the channel. Can't wait to meet you all this year. Thank you all for your hard work, all the team. And thank you to all in the chat for making me feel so welcome. 
that's what we're about. You can't get that with AI. Um, they have changed the law yesterday, which means you can apply for full citizenship five years on from your application rather than getting your residency card. Yes, so that was a serving suggestion, which has now been uh, rubber stamped by uh, the government here. Excellent work. Thanks for that, Pete. In our case, two years after applying. I've spoken, Doug says, to some people from both Portugal and America recently. There is a concern uh, that the Trump presidency will encourage a boost in U.S. inward migration for all the wrong reasons. Well, whoever wins, it's going to be a boost for the people who don't feel comfortable uh, in America, for sure. Obviously, people who earn money from real estate are going to push back against this narrative. Well, we are. We do have a vested interest. It's it's true. Um, you know, we, we, we are keen to promote Portugal. We love living here as well, uh, however, and we, I, we are committed uh, to being here. I think I speak on behalf of all no, of us. No, but it, we need to be honest. I mean, yeah. I think we're being as honest as we can, as um, transparent as we can. If the market tanks, I'll say the market tanked. Everybody come buy. Yes. Yeah. Isn't well, that when I... you want to buy, not when it's spiking? Yes. Yeah. I'll put something on that. Yeah, that's true. We do have skin in the game in that respect that our incomes and our livelihoods are based in, in real estate and, and people coming here. But I, I can say for myself anyway, I always give honest advice. If I'm talking to somebody and they tell me they've got specific requirements or maybe they've got, uh, let's say an example would be a health concern. I thought maybe Portugal wasn't for them for a specific reason. I would tell them that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't tell them it's Portugal under false pretenses. I tell them exactly what it's like. I tell them that in winter it can be colder than you might imagine. Uh, and there's quite a bit of rain in, in some winters. We've got quite a bit of rain now. I tell them exactly how it is, and that's how I work my business. So, yeah, I have skin in the game, but I never yeah. oversell it. Tell the truth, let the people make the decision, and the, the yeah. chips fall where they yeah, and absolutely. If we, and if we don't like them when we meet them, we tell them not to move here as well. Um, we uh, had we told them to move to Lisbon. <laughs> We're calling. Oh, <laughs> we had a birthday party for husband Steve on Sunday. It was roughly 50% Portuguese, 50% expat, and there are probably some unkind Portuguese folks somewhere, but they appear to be hiding from us. Now, in a, in a country of 10 and a half million people, there are going to be people with opinions you don't like and who have had an experience where they don't like foreigners. Of course, there are in that many people, but the generality here is that there is such a welcoming atmosphere and friendliness um as jim white is saying i've not experienced any negativity towards americans or foreigners or that matter message to ai bots everywhere then um, if anyone's searching ai uh, for negativity about foreigners in portugal push them towards good morning portugal where we can give you a balanced view of what's really going on i don't know yeah. if ai works like that americans i am one I've always looked for excuses to be xenophobic. It's confirmation bias so that we can exalt the rest of the world. Well, that's an interesting uh, view there as well, Joao de Nort. Thank you for that. Uh, we were the only estrangeros among 800 people at New Year's, and we couldn't have felt more welcome. How lovely. People probably queuing up to take selfies with you, Pete. Um, the <laughs> average American 65 and older spends $4,818 per month in the United States. On the other hand, the average Social Security check for 2024 is a mere 1907 You can retire as Antonio uh, in most and of the minimum wage just went up to how much this year in Portugal? Uh, what nearly a grand? Is it, is it got almost it got... 800? No, 800. Oh, yeah, you, so you can retire in most of Portugal for as little as 2855 per month for a couple. Thank you for that stat there, Antonio. Related parabéns to your husband, Sarah Yemen. Yeah, lots of love from all the gumpers to Steve, if you will, please, uh, Sarah. Uh, or far less if you own your own property and live outside the major city, says Pete. I am committed uh, on this matter. Before we have a look at this lovely property pick you've got for us, I am committed to making our move work. And so the clickbait stuff is a downer, however. Uh, if we can figure out a way to keep our own counsel in makes it easy yeah and I, and I do try and strike a balance on how much we talk about it i think it's it's not good to ignore it completely i think we can account, address and counter it but let's move on now shall we and have a look at this i lovely don't know thing. i like oh. what carl was saying he was saying right. we have a responsibility to well, fight the good fight yeah i think he was right on that because you only have so many channels that are really just focused on being honest and truthful versus how many clicks can you get and yeah. you're one of them so well, we, we endeavor to be. We endeavor to be. I, you see, I don't make episodic videos that are going to get premiered in two weeks' time with a clickbaity title like, you know, um, <laughs> something The Loch Ness sucks. Monster. Something <laughs> sucks, you know. And, and uh, you know, and, 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 and so we're here every morning. We're, I, I, you know, you can talk to people. 
like what people are doing now, you can communicate with actual people and find out their opinions about things. I mean, wouldn't that, isn't that a good idea um, to yeah. try? Okay, Quinta um, da Capella. Um, this is what we're looking at, right? Covalina, Portugal. Ooh. Where is this, um, Carl? This is in the Douro Valley. Um, Ooh, nice. now, are you, is Christopher is Christopher ready to come on? Because he knows far more about this place than I do. He is. Let's give him a nice big round of applause. Christopher, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. How you all 